I got into Dr. Joe's work about two or three years ago and I was never really into it. I bought a book, I never read it. Only um, before this work, workshop retreat came through and I thought, oh, I need some relaxed time, so I bought it. And before I came over, people asked me, where are you going, what are you doing at Sunshine Coast? I was like, I don't know, it's just a retreat. The hotel looks pretty good. I'll be sitting on the beach and doing nothing and just spa. And um, I don't know what I'm going to achieve. Maybe I'll lose some weight. And that was all I, I was thinking about. So at the second day, I had a meltdown because I, was, I came here, I'm Chinese, I'm communist. I was very disciplined. I had a hard time when everyone got that laugh from one meditation, but I didn't. I was just thinking I was a failure and I cry like a big time. And um, it was just, Dr. Joe talks about, you know, don't, don't look for it. I can't stop not looking for it. Every time I was like, is this it? Is it coming through me yet? Like every time I lie down, there was someone like next to me, I shaking and screaming and yelling and laughing. I was like, oh, why am I not laughing? And um, so, like yesterday we had a team meeting and Kelly talks about, you know, you, you, you need to have a mat room to put all your thoughts in it. So we, um, yeah, like two days ago, we started this morning meditation. It's just getting earlier and earlier. I'm not an early, well, I'm an early person, but I need my beauty sleep every day, you know, like to re keep myself rejuvenated. So in the last week, I was sleeping less than five hours but I just get this amazing energy. I was like, I, during the break, I drive to my Airbnb, I was taking a walk, I was running, my body was literally jumping out of me, I wanna go for a run. And I was not even eating much, it was going crazy. Finally, a few days ago, during this breathing meditation, I have a sort of a half orgasm with my head, but after that, the side effect was like, my upper body was shaking like this. I was so happy. I was like, oh my God, I finally got it. It's like sitting on a washing machine. But this energy was in me. It's getting me even more pumped. So then we came to the healing um, process, but I had no idea what that means when Dr. Joe said, open your heart. I was like, how do I open my heart? Do I unzip my shirt or I crack my heart? Like, you know, try to visualize it. I was like, oh, I don't know. So the first day I was doing this walk and I was like, yes, I'm getting it. Do I get it? I get it. And then I walk in and everyone just looks stand around. It's like a ceremony, so beautiful. And everyone cried, but I didn't cry. I was like, oh my God, I must be a bad person because like, I don't cry. And um, so I was like, okay, the next day I'm going to do it really well. So I got more emotional. And while I was walking, what weird happened was I started to see the freckles in front of me when I was walking. I was like, oh, what's this, what's this? And all these, I think it's energy, the wiggles. And when I was walking on the ground, it's getting more and more and more. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting it. So when I walked in and the Healy lie down and, and then I, I was standing there with everyone and it was very emotional. People were crying. I was like, cried a little bit. And I still don't get it until the end is all finished. Everyone came over and hugged me. Suddenly I felt another person's heartbeat and that touched my heart. It was like open. I was just like a drop crying. I was like, there was this one sentence circling in my head. It was like, I've never felt so much love in my life. And I was like crying to everyone saying, I've never felt so much love in my heart. And I cried after the healing. I was like, oh my God, I cried the wrong time. I should do it again. So the first day when we were doing the four o'clock meditation, like I came late because I thought nobody would get up at four o'clock. And when I came, the room was filled. I was in a mess. I was like, oh. So I lie down and it went through. I was cold. I was, you know, nagging. But today, I thought, this is the last day. I'm going to give 100%. I'm going to listen to what Dr. Joe said and just trust it, you know, like surrender in it, believe in it. So I'm going to get up at 3 o'clock and made it to the door before everyone else gets in there. I'm going to lie down and do a good meditation. So I did. I woke up at 3 o'clock after I went dinner and had a wine and I got lie down, but I fell asleep. 
and I fell asleep at the end. When the lights all came up, I was still sleeping. Someone had to knock me and say, hey, wake up, wake up, it's it finished. So I was oh my God, I failed again. But I was like, yes, I'm gonna focus on this. I'm gonna give 100%. So before we went into the coherence healing for the very last session, I was like, yes, I'm walking, I'm walking, I'm walking myself, I'm not talking to anyone. I'm not going to waste my good time for it. So I was walking up there, but right before I was walking back, God, I'm having a diarrhea. I was running to the toilet and I was long queue. I was like, oh God, ladies, I need to go. I just need to go. And something was going through me and I was like, shit, I gotta do this. So finally the queue went through and I had a diarrhea. I was like, oh my God, I'm late. So I was running back when the line was already, people started walking in. I was like, oh, get myself together, get myself together. I was walking at the, at the end of it. And I was like, okay, breathe, breathe, breathe. So we walked in and the Healy was lying in the middle and I breathe in, I look at everyone and immediately something happened. I, I start crying and I was like, oh, this is what they call the neural circuitry. Like you trigger you when you see this scenery, you start to cry because you did it yesterday and you program. I was like, oh, I'm crying again. And then the more I cry, like, you know, I, I was talking to myself. So I created separation. And then I was like, oh, Kelly said in the mud room, okay, stop thinking, stop thinking. And then I focused on myself and just tear all came through me. I was like a good communist. I built up like, you know, a good strict communist mind. Never show, you know, your vulnerability. I never ever cried this much in my life. I just falling apart. I was like, Dr. Joe said, this is not your moment. Stop crying. I was like, like choking myself, not crying. And when we were sitting down, this is where I say miracle happened. I sat down and I literally, I was crying so much. My whole head was numb. I was like, oh, this must be the crying. But suddenly my skull just crept open and there's this like vibration and electric shock going through my head like this. I was like, ah. I'm getting it. And then that's when Dr. Joe said, give your heart, like give your hand. I, I could feel my hand just going like lightning, like throwing lightning bulbs to this person. And I was like, oh my God, it's coming through me. And I was like, oh, take my body, take my body. I'm surrender, I surrender. Take my body, yeah, whatever going through me. And I was just giving it, giving it. And then I was trying to see what happened to the person because in the last two like coherence healing i closed my eyes very closely because i didn't want any distraction and this time i was like yes i'm not going to be distracted i will see what happening like i'm really throwing to her and i opened my eyes it was so much tear it's almost like you're driving through a storm that your blinker doesn't work like i was doing like a oh, tear but my hands were so busy so i couldn't see the person i didn't even see the healing just in that mass, you know, while, while you were in that big mass, suddenly it's all turned quiet. And I was like traveling almost like a million years in the space I was telling myself later on, I was like, oh my God, this is the space of field of no time and no space. Because I was in this, what I say, described as a one-stop shop. You see everything, every possibility is coming into you. You see, your past, your future, all your possibilities in business, in life, in volunteer work, in emotions. I was so busy just looking around and saying, oh my God, this is it. Like, you know, my, this, this, everything is here. Can I just see this? Oh, that, can I see? Oh, oh my God. And then the moment like, and I was hand busy, like, oh, lightning, yes, going to her. And Dr. Joe said, open your eyes, I was like, oh, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm still in my shop. <laughs> and I was like, finally, I get it, this is the moment. And then I couldn't open my eyes, I was still there. And I opened my eyes, I look at a Healy, I hugged her, and I look at the person next to me, I was like, oh my God, I'm finally good. I was holding her and crying. I was, my whole body was shaking. But this is not the moment. And I was like going around and hugging people. And then a healer came over and he she tapped on my shoulder. I turned around, I was like, oh, one of the healers. 
And she said, she came for you. And I was like, oh. And she said, I'm the, like, you know, she, I, I realized she was a Healy and she told me she came for you. Like, when I was lying there, this yellow, she's in yellow, she's yellow hair, yellow body. And I was like, yeah, me, like Asian yellow hair. And she said, no, 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 it's brighter, bigger, yellow. And she came, she sat next to you and she turned to you. And then that moment, everything came through my body and I had an electric shock and I was floating in the air and all the pains were gone. But she came to you. She was looking directly to you and you are blessed.